on my Snapchat. Snap tutorial, as you can see. Oh, showing a little bit too much. As you can see, I just got done doing my snack crate. I still have on my skin makeup, everything. I'm about to start getting ready to cook. So today, I'm going to be cooking some stew chicken. Yep, stew chicken. Cooking stew chicken, mashed potato, and probably some corn and some garlic bread. I don't know yet how that's going to go. But I'm going to be showing you how I, I, Antonisha, Glamorous TT, makes my stew chicken. Okay, everybody makes it the same. Everybody does. Okay, you guys, I got too hype. I said everybody makes it the same. No, everybody makes it different. You can make it to your liking, okay? Make it to your liking, okay? Okay? So, the first thing... Ooh, I don't got out of character. I don't got out the frame, y'all. But anyway, let's get back to cooking. So right now, I'm going to just be... I'm just going to be... Girl, you really showing out right now. I'm going to be adding my peppers, peppers, peppers. Um, I froze my peppers. You don't have to freeze yours, but I froze my peppers. This is my chicken. Then I already seasoned from the day, well, days before. I season my chicken before I cook it. I don't like no freshness. So the first thing that I did was when I got the chicken, I cleaned it with lemon and a little bit of salt then i have my homemade sofrito i put that in there as seasoning and i put salt pepper and adobo with this now i'm going to add a little bit of sazon to complete it um all the stuff that you're going to need is tomato sauce browning bell peppers you could get all the colors you want you can make it look like a rainbow if you wanted to but if you don't have it's okay you know just compromise if you don't have those stuff i've made stew chicken without all of that stuff and it came out good oh and onion onion don't forget oh i'm still recording child okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut up the onions because i didn't freeze them so this is how it is looking right now Fun fact, you guys, if you have bell peppers or any vegetable of some sort and you don't want it to spoil, you can always put it in the freezer. And it's going to be good, you guys. Look at my onions. Everything is in there and ready to go. So for the pot, you guys don't mind my stove. It's going to get dealt with. It's going to get clean. I'm going to be using some sugar. I'm going to be putting some sugar in the pot and adding some water. Okay, so let me show you guys how it's going to look when it's actually boiling. Okay, so I don't know if I forgot to tell you guys, but you're going to need some tomato sauce. I like to use Goya. You can use whatever one you like. Right now, my sugar and my water is actually boiling in the pot. And I'm going to wait for that to turn a brown color. You guys, you want to make sure you do not burn that because if you burn that, you got to taste that burntness in your stew chicken. Even though your chicken is not burnt, that is the base. Your base is what makes or breaks your chicken, okay? So make sure that you guys keep an eye on your pot, please. So look, you guys. So that is what we're looking at. I'm going to wait for this white sugar to turn brown. Might take a while, but you always want to be close to your pot because... You don't want no surprises. So as for this, yeah, you guys, <laughs> let me move that. So we're going to be adding some sazon to this, okay? So when I'm done, I'm going to show you guys how, not even how, you guys don't mind me, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm just blabbering, all right? I'm just blabbering. All I'm going to do for now is wash my pot and watch this white turn into brown. Hi, 
I've added my chicken and what I want my chicken I want my water to be over my chicken completely so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato sauce and my browning I'm gonna add two capfuls of browning and then a half of the can um, which is the tomato sauce so this is what I will be looking at. My chicken is in there. And I have the fire on high for now. Just because I want it to cook. I want it to bubble up. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. I, I love to see this brown. It's like a brownish, reddish look. I love to see it like this like oh my gosh i i'm getting hungry oh uh, no i can't wait to eat i can't wait to eat okay so i will be back once this start bubbling look like i have a huge makeup haul that i need to show you guys like oh uh, stay tuned you guys stay tuned okay stay tuned be also using the homestyle idahoan potato mix I, I, would, I think you would call it mix i'm gonna be using this and this is the bomb and it's so fast making like it's it's the bomb i'm gonna be cooking this and with this you don't have to add no seasoning but i'll explain to you what i do oops 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 whoops Remember when I said always keep an eye on your pot? Always keep an eye on your pot. Okay, girl? Always. So, I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to keep an eye on it because I don't want my house to burn down. And then I'm going to... I'm not going to cook no mashed potatoes now. No corn now because I do not like... My boyfriend like his food hot. So, I'm not going to let that sit and get cold. Nope, nope, nope. So you guys as you can see it's bubbling it's bubbling so i'm gonna let this bubble i'm gonna let it like cook on high for about like 20 more minutes and then i will switch it to low and let it cook on low it's cooking you guys it's coming together so if you guys, oh my gosh, I'm playing music. Sorry, guys, but it's coming there. It's getting there. Um, me, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer because I don't like to taste raw chicken. But I usually taste my sauce before I just let it, you know, full on cook. Right now, I'm cooking it on low. So I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit more, and then if anything, I will add adobo or sugar. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Couldn't record this, but I basically mix that with this. There you go. With hot water, and I just mix, 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 mix. And this is the consistency. I wanted it very thick because that is going to make it creamy gonna act as a gravy but yep that's my corn cooking that's my chicken I had to do a little taste test earlier and the seasoning was on point Ooh, my pot just want to run away from me okay 
so this is done. This is done. Whew. And now I'm just playing the waiting game. <sighs> Can't wait to eat this food. Like, I am so ready. I'm so hungry. I'm so hyped. Let me tell y'all. Follow this recipe and food is going to be bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay. Don't mind that. Nothing burning. Okay, it's just... Don't mind it. You can see it did get a little bit darker and it should get a little bit thicker. When I see that chicken start to fall off the bone and get tender, I'm going to add my beans, okay? Usually you should let your chicken cook to 35 minutes up to an hour if you want. I like to make sure my chicken is really, really cooked. But once you reach that 35 minutes or up to an hour, you're going to pour this in and leave this in to 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And your food should be done, okay? Mmm. Should I do the garlic bread or no? You know, I'm going to just save that for next night. The next night. Okay. So I'm going to go back and cover this, baby. It should be all, oops, all set. So let me show you guys how it looks. You guys, I can't wait to eat this. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <sighs> been done right now just waiting on this chicken okay. almost done almost done okay guys so i already added the beans and i'm gonna let that cook in there for about 10 to 15 minutes and you guys, you can always test try your food. I always test try my food. I'm not a perfectionist. That's why I cannot look. I cannot go on food based on look. I have to try it. Okay? Yep, yep, yep. Almost done. 